Hey guys, it's MH Finn. In today's video, we're going over one of the most popular stocks in the world, Tesla. If you talk to anybody who uses Robinhood, the topic of Tesla is likely to come out in conversation. Because it's so controversial, new, and volatile, the car company has easily become the central talking point in any conversation regarding markets and trading. All of this ignored, we today attempt to look at Tesla through a clear lens, unfogged from the hype, controversy, and distractions that take away from what Tesla really is, a car company. Today we answer the all-important question, should you be buying Tesla stock, and what are my thoughts on the company itself? To start, I'm sure some of you have heard some sort of analyst, YouTuber, or talking head explain to you that Tesla is nothing more than an overpriced meme stock pumped up by snowflake millennials. And while a portion of that statement may hold some truth to it, I'll start with something else that's not so negative. Tesla is volatile. If you're a typical Robin Hood investor, you most likely don't have tens of thousands of dollars in your account. Instead, you're likely a recent college grad or you're in college and the thought of making a 2% dividend on your Coca-Cola stock doesn't really do it for you. And here's where Tesla is great. Unlike other boring stocks, Tesla is exciting because it moves up and down so much and so frequently. Just looking over the past year, we can see huge spikes in the price. In May, going from 250 to the high 300s. In August, the same thing. A massive drop off in the fall, and the same story for the rest of the year. Over 7 massive spikes in stock price in just one year. This is part of the reason Tesla generates so much controversy. If you're a Robin Hood user with $1,000 in your account, what other stock will give you this many chances to make money swing trading? The opportunities are endless, with so many disruptions and excitement each month. It brings new events and spikes to give you, poor Robin Hood user, a way to spike your account with exciting profits. Behind this monster of a company is a man that will go down in history as the Nicholas Tesla of this generation, Elon Musk a relatively young and unique billionaire who isn't afraid of generating headlines. His Twitter feed alone is enough to give day traders a heart attack. Tweeting out memes, news, jokes, and alternative facts, Elon's personality is one in a billion and that plays into the stock's price spikes. Take for example his infamous fund secure tweet. Elon was convinced that Saudi investors had agreed to a deal to take Tesla private for the price of $420. Tweeting out funds secured, the stock's price catapulted under these rumors, only to later acknowledge that the deal wasn't sealed, and that the price of 420 was part of an internal marijuana joke between him and his girlfriend. That's only part of the story. There was another spike where investors were worried about the potential publicity hit he would take after smoking the herb live on the world's most popular podcast. No other stock in the world is tied to a Twitter feed as much as Tesla is. On top of all this hype, Tesla is sort of founded on a solid foundation of world-changing technology. Tesla as a car is revolutionary. The features and technology behind his cars and first-to-market technology is what a lot of the current stock price is based on. And the theory that Tesla in the future will grow to something we haven't seen before is part of the reason we see the P-E ratio it has today. A company of the future that acts as a market distributor of epic proportions. The hype behind the company is unfantable. That's why Tesla can somehow be worth more than the only other American car company to never fail or declare bankruptcy, Ford. Just like Amazon in its infancy and other technological growth stocks, Tesla isn't really all that concerned with profit margins. Its focus is on growth and increasing its revenue. But this is where the, my bear case for the Tesla begins. At the end of the day, Tesla is a car company. No matter how many car experts say it's not or how many times Elon will have you convinced otherwise, Tesla is in the business of mass producing vehicles. Its competitors are not Amazon and Google, but the companies we already associate with luxury cars. The BMWs, Mercedes-Benz, and Fords of the world. If we look at its financial documents, Tesla's revenue stands at $21 billion for all of 2018 and $11 billion for 2017. That's $33.1 billion in revenue for the last two full years of its operations. But during this time, Tesla did something that is quite the opposite of what a publicly traded corporation is supposed to do. They lost money. 
In both years, Tesla failed to generate a profit, instead spending that revenue on expanding its business. Just like Amazon and other tech companies in their infancy, Tesla isn't all too concerned with profit margins. It prices its vehicles not to generate profits, but rather to maximize its revenue. Apple could do the same with the iPhone. Instead of pricing it at its current level of $1,200, they could simply sell it for $800. Sure, they would sell more phones and their revenues would explode, but profit margins would decline and their stock price would slope down. This is why their price isn't really tied up with their financials, but rather their growth. The CEO's Twitter feed and other auxiliary news items that cause massive spikes in price. If you're going to trade Tesla on Robinhood, buy it when it falls below $300, and sell it at 360. Just in the last two years, this scenario has proven profitable five different times. Starting with the November dip and selling in February, three months later, a trader would have been able to profit $60 per share. That same scenario repeated itself another five times with a sixth buying opportunity this past February. Even at current Tesla price levels, we will most likely see another Tesla rise past 360 in the coming months. But with this strategy, I want to follow up with a large warning. Tesla is set for doom and failure, and any long-term investor is probably avoiding this stock altogether. If we compare Tesla to another large automobile manufacturer like Ford, I can show you what I mean. I know these are all numbers, but just follow along because they tell a very convincing tale that is very hard to argue with. Ford last year sold enough cars to have a total revenue of $137 billion, and with a profit margin of 2.6%, it was able to profit $3.6 billion. With these numbers, it has a market cap of $36.86 billion, which in turn represents a profit-to-earnings ratio of 10.42. Now this may just seem like what it is, numbers. But when we compare Tesla, you're going to begin to understand just how overvalued Tesla really is. Tesla's 2018 revenue is $21 billion. That's nearly seven times less than Ford. Its profit margin is negative 4.5%, which means Tesla is losing money. And that's reflected with its profits, which stand at a loss actually, specifically a loss of $960 million in 2018. However, despite all that, Tesla's market cap stands at $46 billion, almost $10 billion more than Ford. Shocking. A company with seven times less revenue and a crap profit margin is able to be worth more than a long-time established piece of American history. So what may you be saying? We know what happens with gross stocks. Just look at Amazon. It bled money for years and years, and now it's profitable and one of the biggest companies in the world. And that's right. So let's simulate what happens if Tesla does succeed using some very favorable guesses. Let's pretend two years from now, in 2021, Tesla improves its revenues so they're half of what Ford's making, $68 billion. Let's also make the insane proposition that they're able to improve their profit margin from negative 4.8% to 7.8%, three times Ford's current margin. And let's say they also did an incredible... P.E. ratio of 11.0. And while we're at it, let's pretend Elon Musk doesn't raise any money by diluting outstanding shares, and also pretend that everything as far as production, regulation, and competition falls into Tesla's favor. Even with all these assumptions, Tesla's stock at this evaluation would stand at $346, not all much better than previous highs it has reached. This, of course, assuming some pretty incredible, unrealistic estimates in regards to its revenue and profit margin. With competition rapidly increasing, Tesla is poised for a downturn that could see its stock price fall heavily if growth were to ever show a slowdown. With the Benz EQ, Audi e-tron, and Jaguar I-Pace already entering the market, the situation only gets harder for Tesla from here. The world is rapidly changing, and while the stock and company may catapult the world into a newfound environment of electric transportation, the financials behind investing in Tesla don't change. While I'll be swing trading Tesla with a small portion of my portfolio, I'm a firm believer that the company is set for an ugly ending. Car companies have it hard enough, and with Tesla, what they achieve so far is incredible. Unfortunately, the odds and the finances are not in their favor, considering the incredible competition 
they are set to face and other circumstances, Tesla is not a good stock for those investing long term.